here are some glass flowers I just made from dishware bought at thrift stores. I'm really happy with how they came out. It's my first time making them. So I'm going to show you how I made these. So I wanted to show you my collection of dishes that I've gotten from thrift stores. I keep them on shelves here so that I have something to look at and things to put together so that I have a lot to choose from. This is probably about uh, five months worth of collecting dishes, shopping at thrift stores just for interesting pieces that I like. Okay, so today I'm gonna to work on some flowers. I've never done this before. I'm gonna make decorative flowers for the garden using these items that I bought at thrift stores. So I've got this plate I like the shape of. Um, I didn't really like the color, it's kind of plain, but I'm gonna fancy it up with some gems at the end. And I've got a couple of color plates. It's kind of an earthy purple color. I've got candle holders, and um, I think this is a deviled egg dish. And that's pretty, shape of a flower. I've got gems, and uh, I'm gonna use these nails for stamens. And this is the glue that I usually use, E6000, and I use JB Weld Epoxy. Um, I'm going to use mostly epoxy for this because I'm not sure how it'll hold up. So I just want to be safe and use epoxy. And the bottles I'm going to use on the back to slide over the post to hold it up. I'll show you how I do that in the end. But I'm excited to work on this. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is put these nails into here as the stamens. So in order for these to stand up, I'm going to put a ball of clay in the bottom and then use epoxy. And um, right now I'm using this Sculpey clay that I got from Walmart, but I usually use putty. I just couldn't find any, so I'm using this white clay. So I rolled it up into a ball and I'm going to put that in the bottom like that. I'll put that in the bottom of this one. I really like this one. It's kind of a pearlescent clear. It's really pretty. So, okay. and then I'm going to put the nails in. This just helps to hold it up while the epoxy is drying. I'm going to put two long ones and one short one. Like that. And then I'll put some gems on it too. Okay, and I'll put this one here. All right. So I've got epoxy. I'm going to mix it up in a cup. It's a two part clear epoxy. Okay, I'm just going to pour it in. I'm going to put these little gems on here, like that, I hope they stay on, huh. oh. they might just slide off, Nice. 
Okay, so I'll let that dry overnight. Um, and uh, put some together tomorrow. Okay, so I let this dry overnight, and uh, that epoxy holds this really well. It's in there nice and strong, it's not going anywhere. So I'm going to glue these together, so I've got two flowers going on here. And um, I'm going to mix up some epoxy, the JB Weld, clear. I'm only going to put glue where it touches the plate, where I'm going to put the plate in here. Okay, I'm going to put this on here. bottom of this one. Some on the bottom of here. Let's see if that's a flat bottom. I think I'll just pour it into here. Easier. that dry. Okay, now I'm going to work on this one. I'm going to put this one in the middle like that. Mix up some epoxy. Then I'm going to put this in the middle here. That. So it looks like it'll touch on this edge here. Okay. 
center. Okay. And then I'll go ahead and put this on here. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to let that set up for a little bit and then I'm going to um, try to fancy this up with some gems. So I'll just let that dry for a little bit. Okay, I thought this one needed a little more color too, so I'm going to add some gems to the outside edge here. I've got these um, teal color gems. And I'm going to glue them right in here on the petals. And I'm going to use E6000 for this. Because it's lightweight, it should hold. Okay, these gems are sliding down, so I'm going to um, tape them up until they dry with my painter's tape. It seems to be working. Okay, I'll let that dry. Okay, now since this color around the edge is kind of plain, it's a tan color, I thought it needed to be fancied up a little with with um, some gems. So I played around with different colors and I thought the red and the amber looked really nice together. So I'm going to use these colors here, red and amber, and uh, just glue them around the edges. Looks like I'm going to have to tape these two because they're sliding down. So I'm going to um, tape them as I go. I have all these taped up and um, I'm going to let this dry overnight and I uh, can't wait to see what it looks like with the tape off and then I'll put the back on and it'll be ready to go out in the garden. Okay, I let these dry and took the tape off and I'm real happy with how these turned out. It looks really pretty. And this blue around the edge just gives it a little more color. And it's translucent. It looks really nice. So now I'm going to put um, the bottles on the back so I can put them on the poles. And I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to put the back on here um, to hold it up on the pole. I know some people use bolts in the air flowers and they drill holes through everything to hold it together. That's probably the best way to do it, but I know some of the glass is hard to drill, so I didn't want to 
do that. Um, some people use a spoon. They'll flatten out a spoon and bend it so that it, it can um, glue on here and then put it inside the pole. But I'm going to actually use glass bottles. So I've got this half inch conduit. It's uh, five feet long. It's got a hole in the top. But um, bottles usually will fit over half inch conduit like that. So I'm going to glue this on here and then use the pole to hold it up in the garden. So I'm also going to use this. I found this foam. It's expandable foam and um, I'm going to spray that into the bottle <clears throat> before I put it in the garden and it'll help um, hold it steady on here so it won't like flop around. So I'm going to try that. I've never done any of this before, so we'll see what happens. using a clear epoxy. Alright, this one first. Just put it on here right in the middle. I'm going to use candles <laughs> to hold it in place until it dries. Just make sure that's centered. I hope this holds because um, this one especially is a little bit heavy. So I guess I'll find out. Okay, that looks good. I'll let that dry and then I'll probably reinforce it with a little more epoxy around the edges when this dries just to be sure it holds. But uh, for now, I'll let that dry. Okay, so here they are finished. I glued the bottles on the back and I put a little bit of extra. I poured some in there just to make sure there's enough to hold it. This one's heavy. So there's quite a bit of epoxy in there. That should hold it. And this is the same. I poured extra in there too. All right, so I'm gonna go put these out in the garden and see how they look.
Okay, so I put these conduit poles up yesterday. And um, I put it probably about a foot and a half into the ground. And then I put a little bit of sacrete around the, the top part of the hole. Probably about five or six inches deep. Just to make sure it holds. Because they are a little bit heavy. So I've got two right here. Same thing for this one. And of course... I used a level to make sure the poles are upright because sometimes it's hard to tell, especially if it's on a hill. So, yeah, put the level on it. Make sure it's straight. So, then I'm going to go ahead and put the flowers on here and see how it looks. And here they are finished. I think they look really nice out here. They'll look really pretty when the sun shines behind it. Oh. So that foam worked really well. I just sprayed it into the bottle. This foam spray here, it's got this spout on it. And I just sprayed it inside and it expanded. And it will dry and that'll hold it in place so it won't, you know, tip or anything. And I taped it for now until it's dry. I think it takes about an hour to dry. But um, that worked out really well. Same for this one. I taped it. And it seems to be holding really well.